Time for the top five plays of the week. Number five. Handoff, no, it's a fake, and it's a quick wide receiver screen. Ball comes loose. Bulls say they have it. The question is, was it was caught? So they're going to call it a completed catch and a loss on the play. Shrod Lott was the guy that broke that play. Number four. Second down to 10. Blitz coming. Pitch right for Oliver. 40, 45, 50, and carries a couple of tacklers into Bears territory down to the 43-yard line. Buffalo with a tight end on the right side, and they go trips to the left, and they use that tight end to run the ball. They get the guy hooked, and nice job by Oliver picking up good yardage. 17-yard gain for Brandon Oliver. Number three. Handoff goes up the middle to Jafon Gill at the 40, at the 35, at the 30, at the 20, and Jafon Gill all the way down to the Baylor 13-yard line. Big breaker up the middle for Jafon Gill, a 34-yard gain. It was like the parting of the Red Sea there, Paul. Nobody was there. He wasn't touched until he was about 20, 25 yards down the field. Almost breaks it. Really nice play by Buffalo up front. Number two. Fake of the throw by Griffin. Pumps, throws down the middle. Caught by Terrence Williams, but fumbles, and the Bulls recover. If it's ruled a catch and a fumble, it's Buffalo low ball, and that is the ruling. How about that call by... Uh coach to put Dom Cook there. He's the one who made the hit to jar that ball loose, put in position by being at safety. Number one. Bulls in that stand-up defense. No one in a three-point stance. Rush coming. Griffin throws and it is picked off by Dominic Cook. The interception for the Bulls. For Cook, that's his fifth career pick, first of the season, and the Bulls take over after forcing their first turnover. Boy, very athletic play by Cook. The ball deflected. He just comes over the back and makes a great play. It's a nice defensive job by Buffalo. They get a break, and now we're heading on offense. 